let's talk a little bit about the future. So I'm going to give you guys literally a minute each, okay, to tell me what do you think the future of public warning systems should look like? And if you had a piece of advice for our listeners, what would that be? Brett, please kick me off. Uh, I think my my key points have probably been been covered. So I'd like just like to reinforce those. I think a, a, a warning system going forward should be ideally nationally uh, consistent in terms of its uh, terminology, its application, its look, uh, and its feel. It should be a single source, uh, irrespective of the hazard, uh, and it should be able to cross uh, borders without any sort of interruption or or disruption. And it's it's one that should be uh, simple to interrogate and simple to follow. Uh, with uh, clear advice, current messaging, um, and uh, and uh, I think that's probably where we need to go in terms of going uh, forward, Mahit. Absolutely. No, spot on, very clear and precise. General Atta, you, sir? Thank you. I, I thought Brett put it across very well. So I'll just uh, add a few lines to that. I think uh, India's technological agencies for, uh, for prediction are really coming of age at the moment, better computational power, more artificial intelligence, more machine learning, uh, ingesting big data, developing more accurate uh, mathematical models. All this is going to lead to better prediction of hazards. So the challenge is that if you have got the early warning with you, how quickly can you get it across to the communities, to the disaster managers, to the, to the structures which have been created? But that's where the challenge is really going to be. I think the internet of things, which is, in the, in, in the way at the moment, we'll add to it to 5G protocols will definitely add much more to it. Satellites with 5G credibility, uh, capability will ensure availability of media even in very, very catastrophic uh, incidents where you find uh, that um, many of your towers may, may actually no longer be available to you. So I'm looking at uh, the usual things, but to a much wider array, uh, things like SMS, cell broadcast on mobile phones, radio, ham radio, for example, something which we hardly ever speak about. Radio, te television, social media at the moment, much faster through 5G. All these things will come up and, in, and, and India has the means actually uh, to have all this put, put into place, provided that we continue getting the right uh, uh, priorities as far as our governance is concerned. Absolutely. I think you covered every aspect of it. But Malcolm, let me give you a chance. You know, what would you want to add, if anything? Um, very simply, I think uh, much of it's been covered, but it's whatever you employ, it's got to be simple, consistent, relevant to the user, integrated across the strategies you have in place for managing disaster risk and end to end, you know, from right at the very beginning before anything happens through to follow up when something has happened and you need to reach those people afterwards. Fantastic. Thank you. And could not never last, but please. Yeah, so I think uh, a lot of good things have been mentioned already. So it, I, I would, from, from what's been said, I, I would definitely say that having more simpler systems that uh, takes away some of the, the, the hurdles that we see when using these type of systems today, shortening the time between a, a critical event until uh, the population is taken care of is definitely where we will see an evolution in, in, uh, in many systems. Um, more automation uh, and, and definitely more integration so that we, we get these holistic systems is, is definitely also a trend. A hybrid alerting, so combining these channels to optimize the reach and the speed to reach out to people, but also to adapt to, with the right sort of channels. We'll see a maturing of this uh, uh, across the board. And then 5G uh, technologies like that, 5G will definitely also help increase density of the networks, higher capacity in the networks, etc. But of course, it will apply for urban areas. In, in rural areas, we, we know what we have today and we need to make that work. Uh, as best as, as best as we can. And I think we can do that. So I think th there's a mix of all the things we already have and make them better, and then some additional technology advancements that we will see over the years to come. Absolutely. Gentlemen, I thank you very much for your time. I thought that was a very, very insightful um, session over there. I cannot agree with you more. Deployment of a public warning system for critical events is, for me, a complete red herring. We've got to do it. I think people just have to find the right usage for what they need in the respective towns, but just make sure it connects with the bigger picture and suddenly we'll have a integrated system. It takes one step at a time. Uh, thank you very much.
Have a great afternoon and great evening, great mornings, wherever you are.